Chances are you hear it multiple times every day. You just don't realize it. Sonic branding. It's a trademark or signature sound that helps to immediately identify a particular product or service. Here's an example of sonic branding at work for the Premier Hockey Federation. And that kind of gets the heart racing, right? Well, the company behind that signature sound is Audio Brain, and joining us is the company's owner and executive producer, Audrey Arbini. Uh, Audrey, thanks so much for being with us. I know that you work with lots of Fortune 500 companies, including Google, Microsoft, even the Olympics. Tell us why a signature sound is so important and how can it enhance a company's brand? Um. It's really interesting because right now everybody is saying this is the big thing, the big new thing is voice first, sound first. I've been doing this for 25 years. And what it does is it differentiates and sonic branding is uh, creating a creative, strategic, and holistic music, sound, voice, vibration for a brand that gets then leveraged across every um, important touch point for a better user experience, better customer experience, and better brand experience. So when you don't do that, you wind up sounding like everyone else. And now that we're becoming a very voice first, sound first world, it's becoming even more important, which is why it's like the top story. But it's, it's been around, technology has forced it to really take front and center. Right, Audrey, I'm wondering how you even begin to compose a signature sound, sort of capture the essence of a, of a brand, if you will. Quick, quickly tell us, walk us through that process. Sure. What we do is, you know, my composers are in-house because a lot of the stuff that we do, we do uh, a year or two years before it, it's even released. So what we do is we start, it's, it's, it's exactly the same as a visual identity system or a branding system. We have discovery, we have strategy, we have uh, creative, then we have implementation and then we have maintenance. So when we do our discovery, what makes this brand different than any other brand? We live and breathe that brand. And we are not, we are very boutique. This is all we do is sonic branding. We, no one's gonna call us up to do a commercial. We're not a music production company. We have um, science behind us, we have testing behind us, and we do everything we can with the, with the company to find out what makes them them, just like what makes your personality you and what makes my personality me. And then we sort of strategize together as to what the characteristics that make it incredibly unique are at that point that we're in agreement and we have our sonic mood board, we then begin to develop concepts and we start to, it's almost like a handcrafted shoe. It's, it's mm -hmm. um, like a sonic blueprint or I like to call it, my composers don't, but I call it like a sonic box of Crayola crayons. So Audrey, let me let me ask, are, are you seeing that more and more companies are budgeting for sonic branding? That's is this is actually becoming part of their marketing strategy? Absolutely. There is absolutely no question. Um, they don't have a choice because you have um, sound in devices, you have Alexa, you have sound in automobiles. You have sound controls on 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 
um, televisions. You, you can't really right now ignore it. It's gotten to a point where you can't ignore it. And like I said, I've been doing it for a long time and I've been doing it pretty successfully. I've done the Xbox 360. I've been the music supervisor for 10 Olympics for NBC. I mean, we've always been doing it, but people weren't really getting it. Yeah, my, my, my neighbor could do it on GarageBand. That doesn't work anymore. It's got to be right. consistent. It's got to be holistic. It's got to be unified. Because if they hear it sounding one way in one place and one way in another place, one way in another place, then you're really going to lose your audience because your authenticity is gone. Mm -hmm. And the other thing, too, is that um, people want to be involved and engaged with the brand, which is that's what's new. You know what I right. mean? They want to participate with the brand. And certainly the, those sounds, those recognizable sounds help them to do that. Audrey Arbini, uh, owner and executive producer at Audio Brain, thanks so much.